Hi, my name is Josh Zander. I'm the teaching professional here at Stanford University Golf Course and host teaching professional for MySmart Golf. Today I want to talk about the role of your eyes in your golf swing. When most people think about alignment, they talk about the squareness of the shoulders, the hips, the knees, and the feet, but oftentimes they don't talk about the role of your eyes when it comes to alignment. You also want to have your eyes parallel to the target line. If your eyes are angled in one way or another, it will affect the path of your swing. Let me show you what I mean. If you set up and your head's tilted to the right and your eyes are at this angle, it will make you swing more from the inside. If you look at it from the down the line point of view, I'm angling my eyes to the right, and you can see that's starting to affect other parts of my body as well. My path will be clearly in to out. And when you swing in to out, you have fat shots, thin shots, pushes, and then the old flip hook. Conversely, if your eyes are angled this way, where your right eye is above your left eye, that will make your swing go out to in. Looking at it from down the line again, I tilt my head this way, my eyes are angled this way, and that clearly affects the path of my golf swing. Now I've got a more outside in swing. And with a more outside in swing, we start to hit some pulls, some slices, the divots get very deep, you start hitting it off the toe, glancing blows, it's not, not very good ball striking. So if you're starting to see your divots go in different directions, in to out, this kind of a divot, clearly behind the ball, clearly out to the right, or you start to see this divot, when your eyes are this way, clearly out to in, a little bit deeper. If you start to see that, start to angle your head differently. So the first thing I would say is if you're swinging too much in to out, let's go from this position and let's try to get the eyes more level. You may even feel like your left eye is below your right. I like to think of it as trying to get water out of your left ear. So if you got this problem, that's water out of your right ear, the feel of getting water out of your left ear will start to level your eyes out and now you have a better chance of having what I call an in to in or on plane golf swing. If you have your eyes going too much this way where water's coming out of your left ear, try to feel the opposite. Try to get your eyes a little bit more this way and eventually you'll find level and then again you can get your swing to be more in to in. Now obviously it's very difficult to see this yourself so one thing I would do when you're in the locker room just get in front of a mirror get in your setup and just look up and see what your eyes are doing. Are they too much this way which would cause that into out swing? Are they too much this way which would cause the out to in swing? Well, let's feel what it's like to get to level. If you've taken golf lessons in your life, you realize that most of the time your teacher is having you do the opposite of what you're currently doing in order to get to neutral. I call it exaggerating all the way to neutral. So if you're one of those people who's a reverse pivoter and you know who you are, this person, I might tell you, get water out of your right ear and feel this way, and eventually you'll find level. So check your divot, check your eyes in the mirror, make the proper adjustment, your ball striking will improve. Let me leave you with this last thought. I just talked about how to swing the club into in. This hula hoop represents that in to in motion. And I want you to be able to diagnose your divot correctly. A straight divot is not what we're looking for. We're not looking for the in to out one where it's going out to the right. We're not looking for the out to in one where it's going severely to the left. We're looking for a divot that goes slightly to the left because remember, we're hitting the golf ball first and then tearing the divot out of the ground. So if that's the case, we hit the golf ball, the club is ba swinging back to the inside, so your divot should be slightly left. I don't want you to think, oh, my divot's a little left. I've got to start tilting my head to the right a little bit more because you're already where you need to be. And obviously your ball flight and the compression of the golf ball is going to give you a lot of good information as well as, as to whether you're doing it correctly.